Hey everyone, um, so today I'm just doing a quick tutorial on basically on how the uh, radio radio rangefinders for the gyroscopic sights uh, work in the game. So for the purpose of this uh, video I'm just going to be using the British Hunter F6. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take off and show you guys how this works. So basically um, this works as a form of uh, sort of radio radar style sort of lead indicating but it is different than how some people think. So basically with normal gyroscopic um, sights like this you've obviously got your fixed sight which is the round reticle and then you've got sort of like the star shaped sight which moves and sort of gives you a sort of uh, a, a basic lead indicator based off you know your movement. Um, it's obviously very rudimentary um, and it doesn't uh, provide much accuracy especially when you're doing uh, high angle maneuvers and so forth um, it also doesn't take into account distance now the radio rangefinder will help you take into account distance it, it still won't help you aim when you're doing um, ridiculous turns like high G turns or if you're doing you know weird rudder based maneuvers but what this will help is when you're doing those long sweeping turn fights, this will really give you an edge um, on getting guns on target. That radio is really annoying. I mean, it'll also help you save your tailing and bomber, and you know you want to make sure that when you fire on it, you, you obviously don't want to give your position away by missing. This will really help. So make sure your radar is obviously on. Um, now there are two settings you can have for the radar. Um, you can have this setting here, which is like the square, and then you've got the cone. Uh, now this uh, rangefinder has a range of three kilometers, and as we sit behind this target here, uh, we should be getting within range. There we go. See how it's half full and dropping? It's because we're getting closer. So basically, um, how this works is depending on how close or how far you are from the aircraft in that three-kilometer cone. That is actually going to adjust where the um, gyroscopic reticle sits in reference to the static reticle. So if if you're approaching uh, your target and say um, you know you're slowly closing the gap, I'm going to see if I can demonstrate it, but um, it will actually adjust where it sits. Let's see if we can speed up and close in. Oh yeah, there we go. You see how the um, indicator jerked? Like that, see? So as you get into radar lock range, it jerks because it's the computer readjusting where it thinks the, um, the target is actually going to be sitting in reference to where you should be aiming. So let's just turn off the... Let's, get, let's disengage the air brake and close in again. We'll just put it out of our cone of radar. And watch as we get in see that that reticle snaps and that's it basically calculating where you should be uh, shooting now it isn't obviously you know a laser there we go see how it's all jerking because it's 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 recalculating all the time it isn't obviously laser accurate still got to take into account bullet drop but that's basically how it works so it's 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 not like the sort of lead indicator you get in arcade and things like that, you know. But it's definitely going to be an advantage um, over a regular gyroscopic sight because this one will have active ranging.